students, welcome to Gyaniketan online class. I am Dr. Rupi Pandey uh, and this, uh, at present I am going to teach you on article writing for class 12. So good guys, first of all we should know that there are four language skills. One of them is perfectly passive language skill that is listening. The other is partly passive language skill that is reading. And two language skills are active. A speaking is an active language skill and or writing is also an active language skill. Now for your board your article writing is one of the long compositions. You have to write it in 150 to 200 words. So it is better to go to the upper limit, 200 words. And uh, now it, it carries in bold 10 marks. Okay, so 200 words, 10 marks. Let us now see how to write in an article. What are the fundamental principles for writing an article? Before coming to this, we should discuss the relevant styles for writing and the sequences for writing an article. So there are four styles. First is narrative the narrative style of writing, the other is descriptive, so narrative, descriptive, the third is argumentative and the fourth one is uh, uh, expository. So unless you master these styles up to an extent, you won't be able to choose suitable styles for the topic given. Because for every topic there is a suitable style. Now what you have just heard the names of these styles, now know what these styles are. Narrative style is the storytelling style. Suppose you have to write upon Mahatma Gandhi. If the topic of your article is Mahatma Gandhi, then naturally you will have to adopt the narrative style. It will tell the, in this style a story is told when he was born, where he was born. What did he do in his childhood? How was he educated? And then, how, what movements he called for, what he led, and how finally he became the father of Nelson and the architect of the Indian independence. This is the narrative style. What do we find in the narrative stories? There must be dates, there must be events. Unless there are dates and events, it can't be called a narrative style. Now the other style is descriptive style. It describes the things. Suppose you have to write about the about Masuri as a tourist place. Now you can never write it unless you describe the thing. This is a descriptive style. What is there in the descriptive style? When you take, tell, take, tell about its height, its length, its color, its other physical features, certain psychological, emotional uh, uh, features related with the place, then it becomes the descriptive style. 
So remember, as in the narrative styles, there are deaths, events, etc. In the descriptive style, you have to mention the color, the height, the length, breadth, situation, etc. Where it is placed, how it is placed, how it attracts, etc. What is its impact upon your eyes, ears, etc. The third style is argumentative style. When you are writing an article, suppose you are writing an article upon uh, global warming. Now whether global warming exists or not, is it just a false thing propagated or an actual threat faced by humanity? Now this will start an argument. So this style is an argumentative style. However, argumentative style is more used in the debates. But in certain types of articles, of argumentation is quite required. So it becomes a part of a part of the uh, style, if not the dominant style, is still. Uh, in certain parts present in certain articles. All right. So argumentative style, argumentative a style requires questions, answers, emphasis, and something that is known as the of rhetoric questions. What are rhetoric questions? Questions that are for the sake of, for the sake of, of you say, emphasis. Like who doesn't know the name of Mahatma Gandhi? Now this doesn't mean that we actually want someone to come and say that he doesn't know the name of Mahatma Gandhi. This means all know the names, name of Mahatma Gandhi. All right. So rhetoric questions are the parts of argumentative style. And then expository. Again, global warming. This is a very nice example, nice suitable the topic for the expository styles. Expose means to bring out. In expository style, what happens is that we bring out something by explaining it. So in expository style, it is explained if global warming is there. What is global warming? How does it take place? What is the of, of you see, greenhouse effect, the central thing in global warming? How? What is this? So here people want the explanation, bringing things out. That kind of a style is the expository style and so we have the four styles. So when you get a topic, the first thing is to decide what is the demand of the topic? Which style will be the dominant style in writing on that topic? Only one style is not enough. It may be that there will be some other uh, styles which will come in, uh, in the certain parts of the article. However, the article will certainly have one dominant style. Now after this comes the role of the sequence. There are three kinds of sequences. First is the sequence of time. Suppose you are writing an article on Mahatma Gandhi who first said when he had gone to learn uh, the uh, to learn the to study law uh, in London. And then you say when he was born, any reader will be just uh, at any reader will be annoyed. First to tell when and where was he born, 
then you move of where he studied to where he went okay guys now in the next a session we will discuss something more about the sequences regarding the article writing thank you